Hello everyone, I hope you have done with the initial chapters of statistics and now we are here with a very new chapter and a very interesting and an easy chapter called interpolation and extrapolation. Now, this interpolation and extrapolation, as easy these words are, as easy these concepts are. Firstly, interpolation and extrapolation students, it is a concept or a method in statistics which is used for the sake of estimation. Remember, to estimate certain values, we have a concept called as interpolation as well as extrapolation. I think, as, as if I'm not wrong, you have done interpolation last year in our first few classes in statistics. This is just the extended version of it. In fact, it is very, very easy. Firstly, students, to begin with, Interpolation or extrapolation basically will have and should have two variables x and y. Remember in x or this x variable which is there has to be an independent variable. x has to be an independent variable whereas you know what is y. y has to be a dependent variable variable. So, remember x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable. Now, what will be the variables of x? Students, x can assume the value say x0 or x1 or x2, x3 up to x and these are all independent variables. For every independent variable of x, there will be a variable y which is dependent on this independent variable. That means we will have y0, for x1 we will have y1, for x2 we will have y2, y3 and the last one would be ym. In this way, every variable of y will be dependent on the variable of x. Now, what is the difference between interpolation and extrapolation? Interpolation, inter, the word itself says, interpolation. Say students, a range is given to you. Maybe they have given you 1910, the rainfall was 60 centimeters. 1920, the rainfall was 70 centimeters. 1930 the rainfall was 100 centimeters, 1940 don't know, 1950 it is 75 centimeters. In this way if they give you, this is called as interpolation. So what do you think will be interpolation? Interpolation means calculating the dependent value based on the independent value but within the range or inside the range. So, remember estimating the value of a dependent variable based on the independent variable and which is inside the range or the intermediate value. Intermediate means inside the range is called as interpolation. So, in case they give you find your 1940s value or they have given you find 1925s value find 1948's value. All these values you can find. Why? Because all are within 1910 to 1950. Within this, if they give you any value to find, it is called as interpolation inside the range. What is extrapolation now? Extrapolation, okay, extra, the word itself says extrapolation means, extrapolation means Calculating the value of y based on x, that is calculating the dependent variable based on the independent variable, but outside the range. That means they will give you in 1910 it was 60 centimeters, 1920 70 centimeters, 1930 100 centimeters, 1940 80 centimeters, 1950 75 centimeters. This much is given. They will tell you. Then please tell me how much will be the rainfall in 1980. In 1995, in the year 2010, is it there from year to year? Are the dates given? The dates only are not given here. 
so whatever values are calculated outside the range based on the dependency and independency variables outside the range which values are calculated students these are called as extrapolation so students kindly understand interpolation means calculating the values inside the range okay inside the given years or inside the given data extrapolation is calculating based on the same data but outside the particular year gap or outside particular range now students very very important to know that when can this concept of interpolation and extrapolation be used there are certain conditions or we can say there are certain assumptions what are the assumptions i'll write it down here assumptions in order to calculate interpolation and extrapolation first assumption is that there is no sudden jump no sudden jump in the dependent variables or in the dependent values there is no sudden jump in the dependent values that means imagine the x values are given to you 1940 1950 60 and 70 and the y values are given to you as 33 99 205 Minus three. In this way, they will not give you. There is no sudden jump in the values. The second point, students, is there is a uniform rise and fall of dependent values. That means. if there is a rise then it is a uniform rise 80 90 100 115 130 in that way if it's a fall also it will be 100 98 96 94 92 in this way there will be a uniformity maintained even though the values are rising or the values are falling this is the second assumption and the third assumption is students uh, important one which says there is no consecutive missing frequencies remember students the third one is there are no consecutive missing frequencies that means they will not give you a question like this 1950 100 1960 150 1960 you don't know 1980 also you don't know 1990 200 in this way they will not give you a question students they cannot give you consecutively two missing frequencies if they give you consecutively two missing frequencies continuously two missing if they give we cannot work out and that is why the assumption says there are no consecutive missing frequencies so these are the three assumptions on which interpolation and extrapolation is based on and at last students remember about interpolation and extrapolation there are two methods of calculating this which are the two methods the first method the first method is called as binomial expansion and the second one is newton's advancing differences these are the two methods students the first one is binomial expansion method and second one is newton's advancing differences method about both these methods we will learn it separately along with certain problems in the next video